Welcome to Two Guys One Anime. I'm Ashori, and my name is the Holy Apple. And today we are doing another anime reacts. We kind of like doing these. And Watch Mojo released this video literally. I'm gonna say like two or three days ago. It'll be a little bit later for you guys, but uh, they released the top twenty anime that are guaranteed to make you laugh. I feel like we've watched quite a few actually funny animes. Yes. So I think we're both hoping that our ones are in here. Hopefully, our favourites anyway. If, if Grand Blue's not in here, I'm going to riot. I'm expecting Grand Blue, I'm expecting Love is War, and I'm expecting, I want to say like something like Nambaka, if I'm honest. Uh, maybe. I'd say that's I fair. Say... I'm expecting also like something like Konosuba, Jintama as well. Pretty... Konosuba seems to be the go-to. Yeah. Um, Uncle from Another World, maybe a shout. That, that's funny, but I doubt it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking they might use it because it's Netflix. Maybe. We'll wait and see. Yeah, but they're showing an image to us on screen, which is Spike's family, so I'd imagine Spike's family is going to be in there. But um, yeah. let's see what they're going to say. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 anime that are guaranteed to make you laugh. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime Love that will all. have you Love is wars, there. laughter before you know it. <coughs> Golden Boy, I forgot about Golden Boy. It, it had to be in there somewhere. Yeah. How do you like my swimming? Did any of these <laughs> oh, that is so bloody creepy, Jesus Christ. Comments below. Not as well. Uncle from another world. Wow, okay, I'm surprised. Genre none of us were expecting. What happens well done. A random otaku mm. returns from his fantasy adventures Off to a good a start, Watch Mojo. Life. I'm not going to take into account the, um, like the numbered. I don't think that matters. No. So if you put this well, at 20, this that doesn't matter. You I just want to know if you've picked style. good ones well, for the 20. Yeah. I can't give a crap how you rank them. Yeah. As long as the ones are. Yeah. Us to see that things weren't exactly glamorous. <laughs> An intentional harems, <laughs> ungrateful villagers, and the uncle's perpetual ineptitude made this one of Netflix jail's <laughs> better anime outings. <laughs> Number 19, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. No matter how never heard of your it. outlook on life, chances are you've got nothing on this teacher. Whose pessimism is so gargantuan that he's ready to take his own life at any given time. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dory Woods. Oh God. He didn't have to keep what the hell? Anything on the right? Struggles. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. If you couldn't tell, the black comedy is strong with this one. Oh, it's a black comedy. comedy. Okay. Being so okay. That makes a lot of sense. When he personally finds life to be so pointless, it's way more entertaining a crux than any of us were expecting especially when the series I'm not going to be I'm not going to be funny this is probably a type of comedy maybe a black comedy is definitely my sort of comedy <laughs> okay I think I might like this maybe <laughs> red lead sleeping pills and a will <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is my this travel key! <laughs> I need to watch this! <laughs> yes. Zombieland Saga? Um, this, this was kind of a letdown, if I'm being honest. It seems like it would be good, but I watched a bit of it and it's, it's not that good. Yeah! It's also where that meme is there. It's <laughs> in my K-Truck. Yeah. Sure, the cast are wannabe idols, but they're also recently undead, resurrected by some showbiz eccentric for the sole purpose of generating interest in a financially fading prefecture. <laughs> I have seen clips and it so looked bonkers, okay, but the characters are so yeah. endearing that it's impossible to not fall victim to their charms, even when their heads are separate from their body.
Number 17, Weird. One Punch Man. As far as an anime blockbuster goes, Zaitama One Punch Man is funny. Of death are it's funny, but it's I wouldn't funny. put it in the funniest God, anime. No, but it, obviously it's top 20 that make you laugh. So it doesn't, yeah. it makes you laugh. It, it's, I think it's because people like that. Yeah, I think people in, like forget about the comedy because of how good it is it as, as an action anime. As he's yeah. yet to meet but it is funny. Stand up to I mean, the premise of the actual the story is funny. It's a guy who's just yeah. trained to become the strongest. strongest. And it's yeah. no but he the training is so simple that anyone can do it, basically. <laughs> This is always like creeps me out because of the style. Mm. That's your name. <laughs> On Earth. <laughs> That's your name, that song. <laughs> as far as surrealist comedies go, this duo tops them all. Everything is fair game to these two. The animation, the even though it's a weird style, is smooth. And mm. everything That's that meant to be my to name be to <laughs> I like the fact that everything's pixelated because they can't show it. Yeah, they're basically copying all the stuff to pixelate. It works, so. That at times goes way beyond what you'd think a comedy anime would dare to lean into. Embrace the insanity. I think that's an understatement. What on earth is this? Watch this. This looks funny. Number 15, Mr. Osamatsu. Oh, God. These sex tablets are walking calamities, but they're certainly this looks familiar. I feel like we've seen a clip of it somewhere. <laughs> Whether they're trying to scam their way to wealth, get the girl of their dreams, or make fun of everything under the sun, Osamatsu and his brothers don't do it has such an old measures. style for a 2015 <laughs> anime. Mm. If you like your comedy with an unabashed amount of dirt, genital jokes, and consistently <laughs> blurring the line of what's morally acceptable, then the Matsuno boys have got you covered. <laughs> That's nice for broke asses. Bochi the Rock, a lot of people oh, have said this no. is good. We've just seen this in a Reddit. <laughs> a lot of people have said this is very, very funny and very good. While the framework leans into the typical trope of four cutesy anime girls forming their own band, it's thanks to Bochi's relatable yet hilarious quirks that allowed it to rise to stardom. It is on my list to watch, I will admit. Because it's, it's a lot of people are singing its praises and it, you know. Her extreme social anxiety prevents her from forming meaningful relationships. That is, until she is somewhat forced to join an amateur rock group, which, thanks to a variety of animation styles and Bochi's adorable outbursts, makes every episode a riot to watch unfold. Number 13, Golden Boy. Uh, yeah. Yes, the glory days of retro anime. Were absurd One of the funniest I've ever seen. And ridiculous dubs went hand in hand. Though none Not seen the dub. This I'd rather train. watch the sub. Oh, my queen. Oh, you're so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Seeking to learn okay. everything about anything, Wayward Wanderer Kintaro finds himself thrown from one wacky situation it's so to the good. next. The results of it's which really tend to get good. just as chaotic as they do erotic. He has yet to learn that men look at women with sexual intentions. <laughs> Kintaro's journey is the definition of mission failed I need to rewatch this. And still holds up all these years I just put a gun to my head with this acting, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, the, the dub's not great. Do you like my switch? The Japanese Number acting's 12, like just Space better. Dandy. Dandy is a man of simple I taste. I need to watch this. He loves his hair. He loves his favorite galactic hooters. I keep hearing things about it, but he it's like Cowboy Bebop, but like he roams around the stupid, just trying to basically, make is the idea. And the music in it, again, is like 
really good. I think he's on Netflix as well. Especially with Dandy's crew constantly finding themselves battling against the likes of a hyper intelligent gorilla in a powdered wig, emo versions of themselves, and every other kind of pseudoscience you can imagine. I want to die. What? <laughs> okay. <Number 11, laughs> I need to watch war. Space Dandy. There is no Love is War should be higher if we are rating them, them you have but this the fact that it's in here, I'm, I'm okay. fine. And that's I'm fine. Because few could hope to be this 11. Funny. He's not great for Love is War. It's a top five in terms of comedy. It's not just that, it's a good anime regardless of the comedy, in my eyes. Yeah. Kaguya and Miyuki spend each day trying to trick the other into declaring their love first. <laughs> Every time she loses it, it's the best bit. Mm. Throw in an equally compelling supporting cast, including one of anime's funniest narrators, and it's easy yeah. to see why these the two geniuses have earned endless adoration from the masses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! 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 This is weird. <laughs> this bit that you're seeing. Following yeah, the misfortunate that is of our only in episode 12. It goes back in time. The, the anime is, is like this. The he told mm. me, each episode manages to regale us with how much so this girl comes from be, some mystical place, can't town. get back, so he basically adopts her. Funniest thing is this girl, she's underage and she works in a bar. Oh. as a bartender and it's hilarious but she does she can't say no to anything so she gets asked to work there and she goes yeah <laughs> she just works there it's funny to the almighty dollar we know it's wrong to laugh at little kids but we can't help it yeah and he's yakuza as well it's, oh, it's really weird <laughs> yeah there's like a bit where like she smashes up like a priceless vase of his and he goes like he, I think he kicks her out, and she's like outside for like a couple of days, and she just like begs him to come back, and it's like it's just the way it's done. It's just stupid. Number nine, prison school. Oh god, it had to be on it. It had to be on it, yeah, because it is funny. It's just cringy. Then all it's, of a yeah, it's funny cringe. Imprisoned, stuffed into a makeshift cell inside a school and are forced to obey the demands of a sadistically busty council. What's a guy to do? Try to break out in the most hilarious fashion possible. Uh. No, 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 They're getting no, it really no, bad. All the while being tossed from one cringy situation English to another. Dog, God's sake. Yeah, the dub's not no doing any favors. Be found in this show, but that doesn't prevent it from reaching new heights when it comes to all things lewd and crude. Oh, Sir Shingo, join us and come in here. <laughs> Don't just stand there. The water's fine. <laughs> Number eight. Have you heard? <laughs> of so it's another one I want to watch. It's meant to be good. Hmm. More often than not, it's a character's flaws that provide the comedy. Not in this case. Here we get yeah, he's like perfect, isn't he? The perfect student yeah. who happens to have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> Sakamoto doesn't just succeed in school, he succeeds at life. They try bullying him and he like can't be bullied. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just stupidly funny. Whether it's overcoming social loops, avoiding embarrassment in the most roundabout way possible, even purchasing naughty movies without getting caught, <laughs> Sakamoto has an answer for it. I need to watch this. Definitely. <laughs> you might think we'd get bored of seeing him work his mojo, but we never do. Number seven, Nishijo. Again, I've heard some good things about this. It's got like some stupid bits. A mundane life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the one where she does the jump, the high jump, and she goes out sideways. And then she thinks oh, she's done yeah, it. Yeah. Yes! And he goes, You didn't even go over! I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. Did you see what was on the screen? This mad. Yeah, this is the bell as well with fucking wax up. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might, again, I might have to watch this as well, because it's just stupid. Amazing that an anime can appear as cute as a button one second before throwing so much crazy. He wrestles the deer, the yeah. Face. Yeah, I, oh, I remember this. He takes the deer. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure he German oh. suplexes it, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Twenty eighteen. I've never even heard of this. How much crap can one person go through on the way to school? If you Chio, the sky's the limit. Along with her two besties, this gamer girl finds herself over. Oh, it's just the one that breaks the fourth wall. Social situations with such finesse. But a guy chucks out candy to him, and they they shout at him and go, "You're not even gonna get that much time in this anime or something." Uh, probably. Confident is that one. With a gang member, present yourself as twice as hardcore. Packed with plenty of video game references and some real endearing weirdos, you can leave it to Bloody Butterfly to bring the laughs. <laughs> Bloody Butterfly. <laughs> Number five, Konosuba. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, Konosuba deserves to be in here. If you're ranking them, Konosuba's not a five. D campaign, no. Throw in a group of dysfunctional party members and a very high Brand Blue's not been here yet. It better be in here. Disappointed if it's not. I'll be shocked if it's not. It is one of the, the if not the funniest. To a vast fantasy world with only the likes of a useless goddess, masochistic paladin, and an explosion obsessed mage <laughs> for companions. Darkness. Mega Man's probably one of my favourite characters as well. We can all agree that none of us would want to be in this guy's shoes given the crap he takes and inflicts on a daily basis. But holy plus five to dexterity, is it hilarious? <laughs> Number four, daily lives of high school boys. I've heard of this, I don't think I've seen anything of it. Why is, Why is he worried? <laughs> Worrying about the future, the meaning of friendship, the complex creature that is the high school girl? These are just a few of life's mysteries this trio of buddies try and fail to answer, all the while attempting to overcome their education the only way they know how, with awkwardness, miscommunication, and trying way too hard to be cool. <laughs> Well, most of us might not be able to relate to acting out an entire Dragon Quest <laughs> no campaign way. on the streets. It's comforting to know that these guys' uh. teenage years were just as confusing as our own. Uh, again, I think this should actually be quite good. Number three, Asobi Asobase. So that's the. Who knew that person yeah, that's the one with the outro. So many crazy shenanigans. As a group oh, the screamer outro. Yeah. Nothing better to yeah. Do, Which Hanako makes sense because this one's got like the Titan faces and stuff. Shave off the bottom of everyday life but with seemingly Grand Blue still does it better. Yep. <laughs> She's gonna miss it regardless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course, every time they it's attempt so such a stupid, thing, but I love it. So dumb. Horrendously embarrassed, <laughs> oh. subjected to random physical harm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! This anime is the perfect example of not judging a book. I might have to watch cover. some of these. I really do like a good laugh. The book just mm. so happens to feature a butler who can shoot laser blasts out of his backside. Number two, Gintama. Come for the comedy, stay for the unbelievable action scenes. I mean, it makes sense. As well as yeah, the Gintama's one of There's only one spot left. No Grand Blue yet, and no Nambaka. Yeah. While trying to run an odd jobs business, a wandering samurai with a less than And there's than probably no another one that I can't think of. ...finds himself and his ragtag group of wackos battling against invading aliens, katana-wielding terrorists, unemployment, and maybe the occasional lack of toilet paper. 
As far as There's just too many Jintamas for me to start watching it. This is the problem. About three, four hundred. I think there's, I think there's more than that. Maybe. I will start it one day. Who else do you know that parodies every anime under the sun and still leaves room to be a shonen juggernaut unique of its kind? <laughs> Oh, wow, ripping off Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never, I've never seen that scene before. What's going to be number one? I'm going to get pissed it off regardless. I'm going to be pissed off. Number one, the disastrous life of Psyche K. Ever wondered how a teen with all the power in the world could live a perfectly ordinary and boring life? As an FYI, this anime is actually shit. I won't listen to this. Though, that's probably due to I watched the first few episodes and got bored. That keep gravitating towards him. With its lightning fast pace, use of fourth wall breaks, and Psyche's mastery of sarcasm, you don't have to be a psychic to know that this telepathic triumph is a must see. The gags are relentless, the cast are endearing, and lest we forget, this show has Kaido. Oh, sweet innocent Kaido. <laughs> I don't agree with that list at all. Like we said, we don't agree with any of the orders. We There are animes that we would have liked to have seen. Grambler and then back were probably two off, off the top of our heads. Yep. Um, they showed Spike's family at the beginning. Was Spike's family actually in there? No, it was not. See, I would have said Spike's family's like... Somewhat It's funny. amusing, but I won't say it's that it's funny. It's funnier than some of them that are in there, though. Yeah, it's better than their number one pick, Saito, whatever it is. They also didn't put. I would have, I would have probably have put like Drop Kick in my on my Devil in there at, at somewhere because it does the same. It's the same sort of comedy as. Um, yeah, dumb. It's dumb humor. That's basically what it is. It's, well, it's the same as like Jintama. It uses other references from yeah. different places. Um, so I'm, I'm annoyed because there's, there's there's better ones in there. But anyway, uh, if you agree with the list, let us know. If you don't. What ones they missed, let us know. Uh, if there's any other videos that you want us to roast, if you like, from Watch Mojo, let us know what they are and we'll take a look at them. But if you have enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe and keep up with the future videos from us. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.